ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for charged particle days? Because they are about to be back, baby. I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord Nuthor 7. And we got a giant coronal hole in the sun, which will be sending fast solar wind right in our faces. Yep, that's right. A giant coronal hole, which is a sign of solar minimum. Grand solar minimum? Question mark. Holes in the sun's atmosphere during solar minimum sunspots disappear. Science likes to simplify things and remind you, I think, that the sun is like a dragon egg. This brings a temporary end to solar flares and coronal mass ejections, the explosive triggers of space weather. And remember, when there's explosive sun weather, you get explosive safe space weather, and then you get explosive earth weather. But that does not mean space weather ends. A sunspot disappeared. Holes began to open in the sun's atmosphere, spewing solar wind. One of those holes is facing Earth now. In theory, it takes about three days for it to get there because it's heavier than light. And so this red particle stream is what we will get hit by for a couple days. And so the wonderful Dr. Tamith Scove is reminding us we got an incoming solar storm, freaks, which means five days of aurora. People will be moodier. You'll feel up. You'll feel down. Hey, guess what? That's great. Just in time for an election or now. A returning coronal hole sends us fast solar wind this week. You expect a solar storm with aurora to mid latitudes, GPS and ham radio issues on Earth's night side. In each table, top rows shows what's expected. Bottom shows possible maximum activity. So we're, look, we're looking at a major storm in the upper atmosphere, the ionosphere. Kicking off tonight and through Sunday, which will keep the currents moving. Hey, look at NASA data, stereo camera, which needs two to function properly. One of them has been broken for a couple of years. What is this glitch? I do not know. Remember, if there's a glitch, take the weird weather watch up a notch. But here's the atmosphere we're looking at that is cooking around, spinning around. And I just want to say, it looks like the atmosphere itself is starting to form a loop where I had coined this the new, I guess, Mextex, Florida, East Coast, Atmospheric River. Now it looks like it's actually trying to loop around the two main volcano zones. And when I say volcano zone, I'm talking about the Pacific down by Baja, California and the upper Atlantic. So right here and right here, because there are seamount volcanoes through this area. And so no surprising coincidence The high dry spots are hot, and you're getting anomalous heat here. What does that have to do with the sun? Well, simple. The solar wind pours energy into the top of Earth through the coronal holes, creating auroras as we see them, which makes the Earth's core grow, and then that creates magma, volcanoes, which uh, then lead to tornadoes, and so the weaker our magnetic shield is, and it's weaker during a solar minimum, because CMEs actually make the solar shield stronger, oddly enough, then you get crazy weather and stuff. And so the auroras have been off the chain. I can't even remember a day when there wasn't an aurora kicking. And so we are going to be watching. Also, I came up with a scientific theory that when all the planets are on the same side of the sun, because of orbular, orbital angular momentum it creates havoc in our atmosphere and so we're seeing a bit of havoc and I think it creates a bit of havoc on the Sun too so we're seeing some giant coronal holes happening and we're seeing some wild earth weather plus it's been extremely earthquakey the last two months like as earthquakey as I can remember though right now it has gotten calmer I think the, in the last two weeks, the most I saw was 56, 2.5 plus magnitude earthquakes. 
And so when we start to get hit by the solar wind stream, we will have to be on the outlook or look out for earthquakes and volcanoes. Highly recommend Dutch Synths and Suspicious Observers for their excellent earthquake predicting and their space weather as well. And it's always good to have multiple sources when you're considering Asteroid Fight Club material. So, Dr. Tamitha Scove, again, because she's awesome. What do we expect from the coming fast solar wind? Well, like an old friend, this coronal hole has already shown us what it can do. We'll probably get a solar storm more like what hit us back in October. Let's see, was the weather weird in October? Oh my God, yes it was. We got hit by Hurricane Michael. However, the storm is already a little late, so it may be a little weaker this time. And, to me, the sun is like women. I don't know why women do what they do or what they're going to do. And so, the sun, to me, I don't know what it, what the sun does or why it does it. So, be ready for a bit of anything. You know what I'm saying? And so, we have our, as that coronal hole spins back around, could be this one. Or this one. So we shall see. Only time will tell. But as you can see, once the atmosphere gets loaded with the extra energy, then it has to angular momentum it out through tornadoes and storms and earthquakes and stuff. And as I'm talking about, all the planets on the same side, that is true. So you can see them at night in the stars. So yeah, we got a solar storm coming. That is exciting news if 2018 wasn't interesting enough for you baby it is definitely getting interesting enough now and yeah did you see that glitchy box plus you got filaments popping off and this little bunched up crunched up it's like a worm on the sun see that the extra filamenty area almost looks like a scab yeah it makes no sense everything's crazy Never expected to be this confused about the state of all affairs in the world and in the solar system. So it's going to get wild, it's going to stay wild, and it's going to be wild. And it's even wild on a personal level for me. God, this is so crazy. And so it pumps up. Oh boy, just don't stop the moisture and then it sends it back up. It's a whole crazy situation. And it's even crazy for me personally. I'm going to need a money miracle here at the end of this Thor News fundraiser to keep me going through November. So if you do appreciate my solar science, my weather science, my jokes, or just my pontifications on all things possible, like peace, harmony, and technology returning, you know, I mean, we've been stuck in the motor oil engine forever. Then, that's what I cover here at Thor News. So, if you got a contribution or donation and you'd like to save me, keep me on the air as independent news media. Be sure and donate today or tomorrow before Monday. And we'll save me and I'll keep doing what I do and that's kicking ass. Just like you, Bucko, I save you, you save me. It's a cool cycle. That's how the universe works. I love you. Things kind of spin around. Stay cool. God bless everyone. Peace out.